piece for 2016. You can follow Donald Trump on Twitter and join his Facebook fan page to get a look at some of the things that he's been saying and commenting on. He's been very out there. Some people have agreed with Donald Trump's opinions. Others have not. And I really appreciate the diversity that are coming from people who are supporting Donald Trump and others who aren't choosing to support Donald Trump and other candidates to be nominated as President of the United States because we have so many worthy campaigners out there who have put a substantial amount of money behind their campaigns and really putting time and effort into the presidential campaigns and possibly what could happen from the presidential election of 2016 really appreciate uh, what some of you guys are doing out there but just these opinions of Donald I don't know if I really agree with them or I don't agree with these opinions coming from Donald Trump which is why I really appreciate the diversity that you guys are really putting out there on social media yourselves by using your own respective Twitters or your own respective Facebook pages letting Donald Trump and other people in terms of political reviewers out there know how you feel because your voice at the end of the day is really what matters and I'm wondering what the final tally of votes are going to be uh, because of the diversity that's been created because of what's unfolded so far in the race uh, for 2016 and all the political coverage that it has received from different news networks like CNN who have been all uh, over this issue they have definitely made this issue seem more melodramatic uh, than what it actually is and they've really thrown it out there and made it more public than what it probably needs to be this early uh, is in the presidential race for 2016 and electing a new president of the United States. We have seen so many worthy uh, presidents of the United States come before Donald Trump, like some of the ones uh, that I just mentioned, like Bill Clinton back in the early 90s, of course, George W. Bush, which made so many people proud, and Barack Obama, who's taking some time off, of course, for the Christmas season of 2015, returning as of January 2nd. And I often wonder, you know, how he feels about Donald Trump competing for his position in the White House after four years a Barack Obama were ran so phenomenally you couldn't ask for a better representative of America and we go all the way uh, from the Barack Obama era and now into the Donald era which is something that I just can't fathom I can't understand why America will kind of put itself in this kind of predicament and go all the way from such a credible president the way of Barack Obama's and George W. Bush's out of Texas all the way to someone like the Donald who was a celebrity known for his role on the Celebrity Apprentice uh, known for his role of course for Trump Plaza back for WrestleMania's 4 and 5 with the World Wrestling Federation I mean I can't imagine going all the way from credible presidents like George W. Bush and Barack Obama all the way to the Donald and coming into this era which unfortunately is the reality of all this is this really the era that we want to be faced with. I don't think uh, we want to be faced with it. I think I speak for a lot of people who have never really been supporters and or fans of Donald Trump when I think he really needs to reevaluate himself. That's what I really think needs to happen here. Despite his popularity and putting himself out there the way that he is, I think that he really needs to reevaluate some of the decisions that he's made, some of the promises that he's made. No doubt he will come through on a lot of these promises. I have every reason to believe that he will come through on more than one promise that he has made, but to say he's going to come through on all of his promises, I think we'll be jumping the proverbial fence or shooting off the proverbial gun a little bit too soon until we find out whether or not he's going to come through on some of these promises that he has made. And just to catch you up to speed, he has made a lot of promises on sites like Facebook and Twitter, really taking to social media, blowing up his presidential campaign with some of the opinions he has made. Uh, towards America and some of the issues that need to reach a point of resolvement and he's also uh, been very opinionated on a lot of things more than one issue coming from the mouth of Donald Trump on Twitter or Donald J Trump on his respective Twitter and also the other Trump family members on their Twitters and social media sites also very supportive of Donald Trump like you would expect them to be. I think that the only one probably who would have this much popularity in a presidential campaign probably would be Willie uh, from Duck Dynasty by the way that things are going for Donald Trump right now and I really mean that because of the popularity of Trump and the, the support that he has garnered uh, so early in the race for 2016 when you look at some of the recent statistics which have been dropped on social media with Trump leading in the poll somewhere between 40 and 45 percent if you've got an opinion on all this that I just talked about or some of the things that you've seen probably on news networks like CNN or various other news outlets out there you can give me your thoughts uh, in the comments of this video at Jonathan Clark 22 on Twitter, you can tweet me at Jonathan Clark 1 and you can let me know what's up on my Facebook page at ETW Entertainment with the conversation ongoing on my Google Plus fan page at ETW Entertainment. If you have a thought on anything discussed or anything that's happened, unfolded from the news networks like CNN that love to blow this stuff up and really they love to blow this stuff out of proportion. If you've got a thought on any of it, you can give me your thoughts on this because I know that there are more than one person out there who loves to elaborate in terms of a political point of view and where places 
like America stand in all of this. Definitely a lot of people are going to be victims of whoever uh, is elected as President of the United States because through having a lot of conversations with a lot of people on the Donald Trump issue, a lot of people say that Donald Trump is nothing more than an idiot and he will get in based off of his popularity. A lot of people have thrown a lot of criticism towards Donald Trump and the interesting thing coming out of my conversations with a lot of people is more than one person believes that Donald Trump actually has a better chance of getting in than anybody else running in the race of 2016 because of his popularity and for being known for roles like The Celebrity Apprentice and how much of an influence he had on reality television, some of the prior roles he had prior to announcing uh, that he was running for President of the United States because of his popularity and his popularity alone. More than one person, the interesting thing is, believes that Donald Trump will get in and will be elected for the next four years, the next two terms, as the President of the United States of America by 2016. Can you see this being followed through with? Because I can't. And I know that there are a lot of Donald Trump fans out there. I have nothing against any of you who may have rallied in support of Donald Trump upon this announcement. I just question. I don't want to criticize Trump. I just question, you know, some of the decisions that Trump has made, some of the opinions. Uh, he's thrown the way of a lot of people on Twitter, at Donald J. Trump, and on Facebook, of course, on his Facebook fan page. These opinions make me question whether or not we really want to see him as the leader of America in the White House, sitting in the position of someone like Barack Obama or Bill Clinton in years prior to Donald Trump announcing this campaign. He's financed it with billions and billions of dollars. He says he's got his own money. Uh, he's using it to his advantage. He's worth $10 billion. I question that statistic he recently dropped in a promo in a speech. Uh, that he gave to promote his campaign, saying he's worth $10 billion. He didn't need anybody else's money. He was worth billions of dollars and possibly even more, and he was going to use that to jump ahead in the presidential campaign and election and be elected as president of the United States for the next four years, the next two terms. $10 billion is a lot to say that you're worth. Are you actually worth that amount of money? A lot of people who have been doing a lot of political reviewing over the last number of months since Trump made this announcement, I've said that Trump is just over-exaggerating the fact that he's worth billions of dollars. No doubt he's worth millions and billions of dollars, but to say you're worth about $10.2 billion, I think that's a little bit far-fetched. And You've really got to back up your claim. You've really got to prove. You've got to provide substantial support that you are actually worth $10.2 billion. And until you provide us with significant proof, uh, substantial support that you are worth $10.2 billion, I don't think anybody is going to buy into that because you've had a lot of different financial support over the years, more than one financial supporter over the years, like the World Wrestling Federation, who I just spoke on, and a number of other networks have financed Donald Trump with support. Financial support has really been the key to Donald Trump thriving uh, for a number of years. So to say you're worth $10.2 billion when you've had more than one financial supporter within the last 10 to 15 years is really throwing yourself out there. And putting yourself in a position that I really don't think that you deserve to be in at this point in time when you're just trying to rally supporters uh, for a campaign that they're allowing that you're ahead in now in terms of your popularity, which is really what this all boils down to. is just the popularity of someone who's ahead currently right now in the presidential campaign based off of some statistics that a computer I just recently released for networks like CNN, which you can get by going to CNN.com by following their news feed by clicking on the RSS feed button. Now, every 30 minutes on my Facebook page and on my Twitter at Jonathan Clark 1, there was something tweeted in reference to political news coverage uh, from CNN.com. There has been a significant amount of news dropped on the presidential campaign in the race of 2016. Whether or not you're a fan of Donald Trump, that's up to you. Uh, but there's been a lot of photos, a lot of videos, a lot of news articles referencing the 2016 race and who's ahead in the polls, who's going to be elected possibly as the President of the United States, who has a decisive advantage, who doesn't have a decisive advantage going in out of this race for the next four years, the next two terms, but it comes down to your vote and who you want to see running the American uh, economy and who you want to see as President of the United States because every vote counts. And sometimes a lot of people don't really make reference of how much one vote uh, can really matter because one vote could determine who is uh, the President of the United States. It's a real critical issue when people don't vote and people take that one vote that wasn't casted by the individual and put it towards someone else's campaign, giving them more of an advantage than what they had going into it. So I think that every vote definitely matters and I want to encourage everybody uh, to get out there and let your voice be heard by filling out a valid registered vote if you haven't already and smack down your vote. Uh, for President of the United States, let your voice be heard as to who you want to see running the American economy uh, for the next four years. Because to be honest with you, I'd rather any President of the United States more so than Donald Trump until he shows me some integrity 
uh, some intelligence and just no understanding of what he's really doing. A lot of people, more than enough people, have referred to Trump as an idiot. More people also have referred to him as one of the best presidential election uh, campaigners that we've seen in years. Uh, but I think he's got a lot of proving ground to make up for and a lot of lost time to make up for, too. He's got a lot of proving to do, and I think he's a long way from proving us wrong in a lot of things that we've had to say about Trump and proving up to a lot of his claims on sites like Twitter and Facebook to claim some of this stuff. I think is really putting yourself out there, and I think he has to answer a lot of questions before the president of the United States is elected. Now, that just might be my opinion, might be the opinion of someone else who's a fan or supporter of Donald Trump, and it's been that way for years. There have been a lot of fans and supporters of Trump out there, obviously based off these statistics, but there have been more than one person 